waiting for minor placings here though, but the Kazakhstani, the Russian, he's off. Kabir Khan, he has got the El Maktoum challenge sewn up here. Khan... After the first win, just the joy they had with seeing him win like that and come over and win in Dubai and then obviously with turning in, they were right behind me. There's a whole group of them right behind me as I was watching and uh, it, it was uh, crazy afterward, but uh, uh, real exciting. I'm so happy for them. Kabir Khan continues his undefeated streak here in the Middle East. Took them over to Maidan to, to have a little work together, just to get the used to Maidan and shipping over there. And, and uh, they both worked extremely well. But the one thing we all kind of commented on was how they both galloped out. They both, I mean, you, they couldn't pull them up for, you know, like five furlongs. I mean, they just really wanted to go. When he galloped out, it was like 109 for the six furlongs. So you did the five furlongs and then galloped out in 109. And uh, me and my assistant, Dion McFadden, he just, we just looked at each other like, that can't be right, you know? So anyway, long story short, the next week I put Pat on him just to, I said, hey, we went a little too fast last week and he did the exact same thing. But it was so, it's so effortless in the morning. And as I think you can see in the, in the races, he carries himself in so effort, effortlessly. So then the nerves started kicking in. Can we compete against, you know, the other local horses here and stuff? So, uh, which we've uh, proven we can. Welcome to the UAE Kaburkin. Hero if it had been years past, it would have been absolutely straight to the World Cup. But this year they've given us four weeks, 28 days in between Super Saturday and the World Cup, which gives us time for him to recover. Um, he's been taking his races extremely well. It's hard to keep him under grips under, out here uh, in the morning. And uh, so we will look uh, and discuss with the owner about the third leg, uh, possibly, which is like 36 days away from his last run. And then we'll have 28 days till World Cup night. I think the more experience for him might just help him in the end, just getting used to, you know, third time on this track. And then we'll see. We'll, we'll let him tell us. But uh, he's come out of this race extremely well. It was really tough today. Like I said, I, you know, I wouldn't trade him. I think I said that before this past race. And... Uh, I feel the same way now. There's pressure every day, over, you know, with uh, especially good horses. And uh, yeah, we feel the pressure, but we, you know, we've done this for a while and, and I have a great team around me. So, you know, hopefully everything stays in place and he keeps progressing the way he is. And uh, he, he does carry himself in a way that no other horse we've had, you know, over that trip and um, has really carried himself. So um, it's interesting to think about. And yes, I'll have a few sleepless nights. Set to run. Racing to the best line of the night. Walk of Stars fast out off the inside. Desert Wisdom pressing forward. First Constitution also up there as well. Mimi Kikuchi. Brand Strauss is going to have an opportunity to slot in as these two gaps uh, appear here between these two. Desert Wisdom third sliding up the inside. Kabi Khan slides off the running rail and starts to make an improving run here from Brand Sections. Kabir Khan up into second. First Constitution. The first to be scrubbed along here. Brand Strauss makes a looping run. Clapton starting to loom into the race. Desert Wisdom was next. Followed there by Made in Dubai who's now dropping away here. Here. Best of the rest was military law. Atletico El Colano still within striking distance as they make their way into the straight here in the El Maktoum Challenge. And it is Kabir Khan up on the outside here of Walk of Stars who starts to lengthen now. Clapton with the job to chase down the Russian. Then came on the inside, working up into it. Franz Strauss, Desert Wisdom, fighting for minor placings here though. But the Kazakhstani, the Russian, he's off. Kabir Khan, he has got the El Maktoum Challenge sewn up here. Kabir Khan continues his undefeated streak here in the Middle East. Wins by five lengths. Franz Strauss second, photo third.